Well, Ryan, it's fantastic to see you. First and foremost, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. You know, I've got a lot of strength back. You know, it, it was tough for me, and I think the first couple of months were very difficult. But um, it's been a while now, and I feel strong enough to, to return up here. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be here. To be back at the training ground, is that quite a significant step for you? Yeah, it's a massive, massive step in my recovery. You know, there was a long time where, where I couldn't be around noise and, and people talking would have been too much for me. But I'm ready now and it's the right time for me to, to kick on with the next stage of my recovery. Do you just slip back into the lads with all the banter that flies around the football environment or does it take a few days for you to settle down again? And... Yeah, I'm, I'm still a bit wary to be honest because... Uh, I still got to limit myself from, from that noise. It's, it's a loud place when there's, there's 30, 40 miles in a room together and um, I'm just, just taking it easy and um, respecting my body and what I feel. We're getting on for almost four months on from that afternoon at Stamford Bridge now. What do you remember about that day? Do, do you remember it? Yeah, I remember everything. I remember everything clearly. It was, um, yeah, it was just one of those incidents that was was unfortunate and um, luckily I had the, the right people around me from from the second it happened to, to help me recover and um, thankfully that's been the case and uh, I've been recovering ever since. Presumably it's an afternoon that kind of turned your world upside down a little bit. Yeah, of course it, it makes you realise a lot of things and, and put stuff into perspective, you know. I've um, got a great family, I've got great friends around me and um, yeah, you realise what's important and um, yeah, that stage of my life, it, it was a bit of an eye-opener to, to what can happen, but I'm happy now, I'm in a positive place, my mind's right, and I'm looking forward to, to recovering and coming back a better player. And the care and support you've received has been, or seemingly has been tremendous, has, has it felt that way to you? Yeah, it's been brilliant, you know, I think um, the support I had from, from the football community, just the general public, and obviously not to mention my family, my friends, my fiance. The, the football club as well, it's, it's, it's been great for me, you know, you do, you do appreciate the, these messages that, that come in and, and there was a lot of them and I took, took my time to read them and I had them read to me and it definitely helped with me mentally to, to recover and um, yeah, I appreciate all the support that I've been given. It was something that transcended football as well, it went to the, to the wider community, if you like, you're on the front pages of all the papers and everything. Were you aware just quite how big it was at the time? In terms of the media coverage, no, I wasn't because I was, I was dosed up on drugs in bed and I was recovering and it, it was pretty painful, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I, I know that the support I've had was, was phenomenal, really. And, um, like I said, it definitely helped with my recovery and um, I appreciate all that I got. You touched on it earlier about how it took a while for you to, to come to terms with what had happened. How did he come to terms with it and, and how do you feel now? How have you moved on? Um, I was fine, to be fair. It's just an unfortunate incident. You know, these things happen, but um, it is scary on a football pitch where, where your life's in danger. But it was just one of those things, you know. It was, it was one in a million, you know. That, that very rarely happens, something like that. And um, like I said, thankfully, the, the doctors and um, everyone around me straight away knew what, what was happening. and. Um, they handled it with, with great care and professionalism. It, it's remarkable that these people that, that then learn these sort of things and uh, when stuff like this happens, it, it comes and, and helps you. So, um, yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate everything. Take us through your recovery so far. Presumably, to start with, it was a lot of rest. Yeah, it was, it was literally just, just sleeping. I was struggling with fatigue and not to mention the pain as well, but... I couldn't really have any noise, I, I couldn't hold a conversation and um, that was to be expected, you know, I, I had sort of six to eight weeks of, of basically nothing in my house and um, once I was ready to talk to people then, then I've, I've been fortunate enough to, to be able to speak to someone like a Peter Czech who, who's been through a similar situation to this and um, he's helped me massively, you know, he's, he's given me advice and, and told me what to expect and, and not to worry about certain things and yeah, mentally and, and psychologically, that was, that was great for me. That must be a, a massive help to talk to someone else in the profession who's been through something yeah, similar. Yeah, definitely. And, and you look what, what he's come back to achieve in the game, it's, it's remarkable. And um, like I say, it's very fortunate because a, a lot of people that study these kind of things never really understand unless you're in a situation what it feels like. And I was very fortunate that, that he reached out to me and, 
and my family and my fiance and, and he took the time out to, to come and see us and and talk with us and um, help us through the situation. Presumably you've been in regular contact with teammates as well throughout the whole last three or four months? Yeah, you know, I've been speaking to the boys, I've been speaking to the gaffer and um, yeah, the boys have done well. We're in a position now where, where it is out of our hands, but, but we'll see what happens, you know. Um, football's a crazy game and, and anything can happen. Yeah. You were at the game on Saturday against Sunderland, weren't you? What, what did you make of it? Yeah, it was just moments, changed games in football and um, unfortunately we didn't get the first goal. I'm, I'm sure if we took one of our chances then it would have been a different story, but um, yeah, that's part of the game, isn't it? I mean, anything can happen, so I'm sure the boys are prepared for the weekend and, and hopefully pick up a result. And of course it all ends with a, a game against Tottenham as well. That could be a, a huge afternoon against your former club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, um, at the moment that seems a long way away. Um, We've got to take care of business this weekend and, and, like I say, hopefully we can get a result. In terms of yourself, where does it go from here? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure at the moment, to be fair. There's no time scale on anything. I'm, I'm just taking each day as it comes. I'm, I'm trying to work hard as much as I can, you know. I'm still dealing with a lot of fatigue and, and stuff like that. It's difficult, but I'm respecting my body. I'm listening to it and what I can do, I'm doing. Um, what I can't do, I'm not. I'm not, not pushing, pushing through things that, that are unnecessary. And, there'll they'll come a time where, where I can really kick on and um, hopefully that'll be very soon. Presumably at the moment it's not just the club's medical staff you're under, it's, it's still a wider medical regime as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm still having appointments with the surgeon and there's some balanced people in London that I've been speaking to and obviously the whole time I've been in contact with, with the club's medical staff, the doctor, um, who's been fantastic for me and um, yes, the, the club have handled it very well, I think they're respected me and my family and um, they've gone about it in a very professional way. Just finally, has it changed your outlook on life in general, this incident? Yeah, I, I think when, when something this serious happens, of course it does, you know. I, I've always been one to appreciate what I've got and, and who I have around me, but stuff like this, it, it makes you appreciate a lot more and um, I'm going to enjoy, enjoy every day I spend at a football club now and, and have a smile on my face and enjoy my family, enjoy my my fiance and, and just enjoy life, yeah.